Before we get this video started, I just want to make a quick announcement. If you want a chance to meet me and see the car in person, I will be attending Hondata's event on April 6th. It is on a Saturday all the way up in Bakersfield. So if you have free time or if you're willing to drive all the way down to Bakersfield, depending on how far you live, I will be there as long as SDX Gens, IEX Gens, BEX Gens, and LEX Gens. So we're all going to be there as well as a ton of other people and a bunch of other builds. So if you want to get a chance to meet me and the crew, go ahead and uh, come to Hondata's event. I will be there all day and I will be heading home same day so it's gonna be a mission for me but once again april 6th on a saturday hondata bakersfield what is going on everyone welcome back to the channel so i don't know if you guys follow me on instagram and if you don't it is mvrkfc3 if you guys don't follow me or if you haven't seen it yet the car is wrapped so here it is originally i wanted to not upload any pictures on instagram and just do like a video of it and reveal it on youtube but Things changed, so we ended up just uploading a photo on YouTube, or upload a photo on Instagram, and uh, here we are on YouTube just showing you guys if you guys haven't seen the wrap yet. So we did go with the original Type R color, and don't worry about that chrome trim piece. I fucked this side up. Did that one, though, and the other side is good. This piece, I fucked up. I ordered another kit, and it's going to be coming in soon, but other than that, there it is. I decided to keep the red pinstripes. I don't know if I uploaded the, or if I mentioned in the last video that I'd be changing the pinstripes, but there it is, yellow, and it is dirty. It rained today and yesterday. If you can see the fucking the dirt, we didn't focuses, but yeah, it's pretty dirty. Uh, we need a washer, but that's pretty much the wrap. So if you guys want to see more pictures or videos for that, definitely recommend checking out my Instagram because I am more active on Instagram than I am YouTube because I didn't have my car for the longest time for one. And for two, um, I'm waiting for more parts to come in. So actually, one just came in today. We're going to be installing an oil catch can. Side of the point though, um, yeah, I'm mostly active on Instagram. If you guys have any questions, I'm more than happy to DM you guys back or anything like that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We just wrapped it, we got it over this weekend. I've been working. And for those of you guys already seen the reveal, you guys uh, killed it with the likes with the first picture I uploaded of the wrap. And I fucking love this color, man. I don't know how to, I don't even know Besides from the wrap, I also did get a new tattoo. I don't know if I showed you this one, but it is a newer tattoo. There it is. I got this about a month ago, but on my recent videos, you guys did not see it. But that's that, and I also have this one. This one you already seen. So now that we have it open, here it is. It's just an oil catch can for the Civic. If I can get out the buddy bubble wrap, that's essentially how it looks like. It's just a container to catch all the gas and oil. Some screws to attach your hoses onto the oil catch can. You got your clamps to clamp down your little hoses. And you got your mounting kit that mounts onto the oil catch can right here, just like that. And then we mount it onto the car. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab these fittings or whatever you want to call these. And just screw it onto your catch can, pretty much. And do that with both ends. Go do that. And do the same thing on this side. And you're going to use your wrench until it is flush with the oil catch can. So that's why we have that tool. Be careful not to over tighten it because you don't want to strip any of these things. But that's pretty much it. And it is flush as you can see right there. It's flush with your catch can. So after you have this, just double check it's tight. And that's it. So the next thing you're going to want to do is use your flat head right here. I go ahead and put it right here on this clip and just pretty much twist it to the side. If I can do it with hand, that would be great. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is disconnect this clip right here that holds your fuel line and loosen these two 10 millimeter bolts right here with your ratchet. You're gonna completely take off this top bolt and just loosen this so this way it can just hang down loose. And after it's dangling like this, you're gonna go ahead and undo your fuel line right here and then just Move it out of the way. You're gonna have two bolts right there that you're gonna wanna take out and go ahead and take those out. Now that you have it out, it's going to look like this. And that's the two bolts you took out right there. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is grab your mounting bracket and just literally line it up right there. 
and screw it onto the holes so you can hold down your bracket onto your catch can. And now that you have it attached with your Allen bolts, what you're going to do next is grab the same piece that we had right here and it's literally gonna line up right there. It's gonna be two holes and you're gonna line them up right there and bolt it back onto the car. This is literally how it's going to look like. You're gonna have the two same holes that you took out behind the fuel line, which is right there. Go ahead and uh, screw these back on. And you'll so now that fine. you have the oil catch can installed with the two bolts again, what you're going to do now is go ahead and take this hose out right here, the intake manifold to this one. You're just gonna follow the wire right here. Go ahead and take those out by pinching this metal tab right here and pulling it up and then pulling the hose after. So now that you have this stock hose out, you're going to put that away. I'm gonna keep mine, you don't have to keep yours. You're going to grab two of your clamps that they provided you and grab the 90 degree bend hose. So go ahead and put your clamp onto the hose itself. You're gonna put it on the left side of your oil catch can. So you're just gonna literally slide it in like that. And then you're going to secure the hose with the clamps that they provided you. And you're gonna, on this end, you're going to put it onto this one right here. So go ahead and do that, and I'll get back to you. So now that we have one of the hoses clamped, we're gonna do the same thing the other. We're gonna go to the right side, onto the back of the engine. And just like that, we have our oil catch can installed. It's literally just two pieces of pipings or hoses attached to the replacement hoses and that's it now what we need to do is just flip this back around and install this back on right here and put back the fuel line well, just like that everything is put together and we have our oil catch can installed everything pieced back together we lock back our fuel line right here connected the what's this called the hook the locking i don't know what that thing is called but we put that back on so our fuel line is secure and everything is secured. Made sure none of these are loose and everything is intact. And that's it. And then when it is time to empty out your catch can, all you gotta do is just unscrew it from right here and then it'll pop out. So we just revved it a little bit, now we're gonna check if anything is leaking. And so far nothing is leaking. Just double checking, nothing's gonna get loose. And that's literally it. So I know there's already gonna be a lot of people saying, oh, why are you running all the catch can in your car? There's no point in running one. It's absolutely useless, it's a waste of money, and then you have your other people saying, oh, there's a lot of benefits to it, blah, 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 blah. But to be honest, the only reason why I installed an old catch can in my car is for longevity. And there's also a big factor on how long your engine lasts. Like, do you keep up to date with your car, like, maintenance-wise? How often do you do your oil changes, your transmission fluid changes, and basically just maintenance on your car. And also plays in how hard do you drive your car, do you drive it hard every day, is it your daily driver, and do you drive it hard on a daily? And if you're driving like, an, let's say a five hour trip, are you constantly driving it hard for those five hours? What things have you done to your car? And there's just a lot of factors that plays on to longevity of an engine. And the reason why I installed the oil catch can was for one, to catch all those oils that aren't being used and all the debris, you know, the sludge and the deposits and all that stuff that build up in your engine as it combusts. And on top of that, I heard that it also pulls out the gasoline since this is a direct injection engine that it also pulls out the gasoline that goes inside your engine and stays there so I don't know if that part's true or not I didn't really do too much research I just did a little bit of research on it and how it works and that's pretty much it Look at my car I have a quick question for you guys should I keep the red or should I take off the red completely and install yellow so right now I have the red JDM front end badge and well the type R badge and then red pinstripes along with the rear. So if you look right here, I have red along the bottom of the bumper with the pinstripes as well, as long as red overlays on my reverse lights and the JDM badge as well. So let me know what you guys think about that. Should I keep the red? And if I shouldn't keep the red, should I change it to the yellow pinstripes or should I just leave it plain? So what I was thinking is, should I either leave the red one or replace the red with the yellow? I don't know how 
good that would look since the car is pretty much yellow. I mean, it is yellow. Or should I just completely take it off and leave it black? Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys again for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. And comment down below what you guys think. If I should keep the red or should I take it off or replace it with the yellow. I want to know what you guys think. So go ahead and comment down, down below. And once again, thank you guys for watching. <laughs>